Hi YouTube, it's Michael again, and this time uh, my PCB is finished, drilled. I didn't make a drilling video because, um, yeah, well, this drilling was so dreary <laughs> that um, I spared it myself. And what I did. Um, the PCB is mounted now to dry out because it got uh, it has gotten an additional layer of chemicals, which is a californium-based uh, soldering solution, a, a californium-based soldering uh, finish, SK21. Lutlak soldering finish, SK10. Um, uh, this won't see. Make, make, it gives this thing a, a very shiny look. But this is a shiny look that will not reside later on. Um, for this, you need you, you need a special plastic finish. And point is, um, this finish will not reside on the PCB anyhow. Once I start soldering, uh, this finish will get very dirty it's colophonium based and since it since it is colophonium based uh, you have one big advantage uh, that is namely you yeah, well you can the, the solar flows a lot better makes the soldering experience much more fun I do this with all my PCBs um, <clears throat> later on you can remove it with a special cleaning agent LR lighter platen reiniger uh, this is a PCB cleaning solution that will remove any kind of colophonium based residues and the crap you have on the PCB um, uh, that come onto the PCB while soldering. Yeah, by the way this kind of stuff here, yeah, the rust that's all due to um, yeah, here, see, see this rust here? <laughs> That's all due to the chemical uh, chemicals I use for etching. They are very corrosive and very bad for any kind of metal. Um, even for aluminium, which is not exactly known to rust. What do you say, rust? <laughs> I don't even know today. But, um... The next problem is um, some of the drills are just the, the through holes. They are too small. I had to use a 0 0.8 millimeter drill, and you know some of the drills. And that was quite some work to to drill it. I should have made the through holes a little bigger. Oh, that was a little. That was not so not so nice. But you know, if I had made the through holes bigger, I would have ha had the hell of a time to fit them onto the PCB. And since I knew that I will make myself uh, a stopping agent on the PCB, I, I said to myself, "Okay, come on, Michael. That makes it possible for you to make the through holes a little smaller." But I think next time I make them bigger. And I lost two drills in the process. I ruined two drills. <laughs> two of my of my good hard metal drills. See, use those drills. Also, Bungard make a lot of advertising for Bungard. They should. Oh, <sighs> shit! Yeah, that's happening when you do it with one hand. That, <laughs> ah, yeah, see, ah, that's how you hurt yourself. Yeah, that that comes uh, gets me right to the point where I love these drills so much. They are very sharp, very, 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 very sharp. Makes you bloody hands and all that kind of stuff if you get them not just right. But they are quite good hard metal drills, and those are the drills you should use for. Uh, for drilling your PCB. Oh. Shit. See? <laughs> mm, I think I have to put something on there. 
Thanks for watching and see you soon.